Hey guys, be Mr. Casual, and in this video we're going to be talking about Julian Lane, the Lemmy Bang Bro. The guy, you know, he was on the Ultimate Fighter twice, he fought in the UFC, he fought Baron Alcola. Um, so I'm going to be reading the article from MMANews.com, and I'm also going to... We're also going to watch like a little clip from MMANews.com of his uh, professional boxing debut where he basically got knocked up. Left out. It was crazy, bro. I, I feel bad for this dude, honestly. So let's get right into it. Also, the clip is going to be like, I think it's from Twitter, but it's posted on MMANews.com. So let's watch the clip, all right? Here's the clip. So that's Julian Lane right there. That's him right there. Okay. Wow. Man, I feel so bad for him. He just keeps bouncing around from organization to organization. Whatever organization pays him, whichever one will take him, he just keeps bouncing around. He's, he gets brutally knocked out. He definitely has some kind of like brain damage or something, I feel like, my opinion anyways. And I just feel bad for him, bro. He's just getting destroyed and abused in every organization he decides to join. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Boom. Wow. Now let's read the article. Okay. So, okay. Former The Ultimate Fighter contestant Julian Lane, Lane's professional boxing debut, debut um, didn't exactly go according to plan um, against Vlad Tunov on Friday. Lane faced Tunov in a co main event um, of Pravda Fight Championship boxing card in Russia. The former The Ultimate Fighter um, opted um, to make the move to professional boxing following a brief return to MMA at XM. Next MMA five back in July. I don't know why he would go to professional boxing, bro. Like this guy is not like. Unfortunately, he lacks skill. He has heart. I'll give him that. He'll fight. He has balls. But like his skill is just isn't there. And I feel like he's just gonna keep. He's gonna get brain damage at this point, bro. He just keeps jumping around different organizations, like I said before, and just you know. And then then they like then they kick him out and stuff. Then he joins another one. They eventually kick him out. Then he goes to another one. Just it's crazy, bro. Because this is like his career, and I feel bad because he's not good at what he does, you know. Okay, so let's continue reading. Um, though it wasn't um though it wasn't to be for Lane, who after a competitive first round got caught um by back to back left hooks from Tunov and sent him um fall into the canvas. I didn't actually see the first round. Maybe it was competitive, but regardless, you got knocked out in the second round. You know. Yeah, he, he's worse than a pro boxer. You know. So okay, the rest of the article. Lane is commonly known. Uh, Lane is commonly known amongst MMA fans as one of the most colorful personalities to ever grace the Ultimate Fighter. That is true. He's definitely famous for let me bang, bro. I just want to bang. Like yo, he's definitely famous for that. Infamous, yeah. His infamous let me bang, bro, ran during season sixteen of the show, made him a household um, name among longtime viewers of the show and the UFC. After an up and down career in MMA, um, Lane Lane has turned down the majority of has turned the majority of his attention towards bare knuckle boxing, um, earning him wins in bare knuckle over Tom Schaff, um, and Jake Bostwick. Um, he also co-headlined on um, bare knuckle fighting championship, Knuckle Mania two with Mike Perry. That was a, that was actually a good fight. Um, he lost against Mike Perry in a unanimous decision, but that was actually a good fight, and it was brutal. It was like a brutal fight that bare knuckle. Mike Perry versus Julian Lane. You guys should check that out. That shit was crazy, you know? And then it says, The Pravda boxing card a feature a 200-pound headliner between Magomed Ismailov and Alexander Lick. But yeah, so I, it's, this article just basically shows a clip of this pro boxing debut, and then you just get him getting knocked out. I don't know what's next for him. It's 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 honestly, like, it's honestly kind of like, I, mean, I, I really do feel bad for this guy, like, you know? Like, it's like everywhere he goes, he, he's always getting like beat up. He's always then he's like, you know, he literally turned into a meme on the Ultimate Fighter with "Let Me Bang, Bro." Now he now he just got knocked out in the pro boxing debut, you know. So it's like, what he's gonna continue doing pro boxing? Like, how many fights are they gonna like pay him to get knocked out? Like, they're literally paying him just to get knocked out. It's like, it's kind of sad. Like, imagine like you know, like you imagine you're Julian Lane, right? You know you're not that good, and your skills are limited, right? So, and, and only that, he's like, you know, he's he's getting up there in age, you know, he's definitely in his, like, I think in his mid-30s by now or something. He's getting up there in age, you know, so he's just going to, so all, all, and he knows people are just going to pay him to get, to get knocked out and lose at this point, you know, he's not going to make a, a run for any title. He's not going to, you know, ever win a title in MMA or boxing. So he, at this point, he's just trying to collect as many checks as he can until, you know, it's time to retire and just, you know, it's, it's, it's sad, you know, because I remember watching him on The Ultimate Fighter. 
And I used to think like, wow, this guy is out of his mind. He has crazy anger issues. But, um, you know, he has heart and then he's willing to th he'll throw down on anybody, you know. It's, it's just crazy. Like, like, you know, what? like a lot of times when I watch fighters, I always think to myself, like, what's going to happen to them in like 15 years? You know, is it going to be like a sad story or is it going to be like some amazing story where they make a bunch of money and they invest it, you know? You know, sometimes it's it's a, it ends up being a good story. They have a, you know wife and kids that love them and take care of them and family. And, and then other times, you see Julian Lane getting knocked out in his pro boxing debut. You know, but yeah. So yeah, I thought I would share that with you guys because I'm sure not too many people you know follow Julian Lane anymore like that. So I figured out you know I'll report on it. So yeah, MMA news. This was a good. This was like a good article. It was good. You know. But anyways, guys, it's me, Mr. Casual. Please like, comment, subscribe, and be safe, everybody. All right, take care.